that's inlet valve opening. So as that goes down, it's sucking fuel in through there. Inlet valve will close. Piston will come back up. Make a big bang with a spark plug. That'll go back down. And as it comes back up, that exhaust valve will open to let the exhausted gases out. Yeah, good one. And that's it. How an engine works. Suck, yeah. squeeze, bang, blow. <laughs> like all good things in life. Yeah. yesterday individually I had to clean them all, put each ring in the bore individually and measure the gap when that's compressed Okay. and, me and then file them so they're all tenth out which is painfully slow and boring Out there, and it's been lapped in, all marked up, so we go back in the same way round. There's another two bearing bottom forwards, and that goes that way. Make sure you're not catching a lip on the edge of the bed. Sides. Where are we lining that up to then? How do you mean, sorry? You're, <clears throat> you're tapping that into a particular position. Yeah, it right? just sits on the bearing, then you put your caps on and tighten them down onto there. Check your rotation again. Uh, and that's it then, you chalk them up. Right, so we're on number two. That's left hand side, which is this side. I know that that is the outside face because that's where the bearing's been rubbing and that's your lapped face with matching the other rod so that goes that way. Like that. That's my lapped face so that should be right too, which is there. Oh, I put the wrong cap on the wrong side. Good job I checked. This side's left, and I'll just put the left on the right hand side. So that should go that way. Is there a marking on so there? So there's my left two mark there, you see that? I think so. And I've got left two on there. So I know that that goes in there. Okay, now we've got our right hand side. I know that's the outside face, because that's got the lap face. So hopefully, if I put it all together right, it should have right two written there, which it has. Now I know that that one's got right two on it, so that's the right way round. You have to put all the con rods in the right way round to the pistons. Because all the pistons only face one way, because of the thrust faces on them. Right, they're just nips, so we'll check our rotation now. That's fine. So bring it back up to the top and then torque them down. Check the rotation again. Again and again and again. Parts of it seem really smooth and other parts is a bit more... Yeah, I mean, you've got different thrust faces on your piston. You've got to remember you've got all of those piston rings. They're all forcing against the bores. Okay. And you've only got four pistons in there at the moment. So, like I say, that Buick engine when I built it, you couldn't turn it over by hand. Right. Um, you could just, but I mean, but that's not tight for an engine at all. That's fine. Just making sure that the, these caps can't come undone at all. 
I mean, it's different ways of doing it. Some had lock nuts on them, what they call power nuts, a little thin steel nut. This just stops it. Nothing can come apart then, you know? Oh, okay. So you can rag down the engine, so if we cut the ends of those off and they fall down there, they're a pain to get out. See what other holes are lined up. Right, see that one isn't lined up. You've got a guideline of 35 to 40 foot pounds of torque. So I've gone 38, so I know I'm in the middle roughly. So if you need to back off a nut or just tighten a nut to get the split pin through, you, you, you're within your torque settings. Okay. When you turn it over, what are you looking for? Any tight spots? Yeah, just feel anything that feels tight at all. That's all fairly constant all the way round. Yeah, it's fine. Well, that's it, I'm back to cleaning again now. <laughs> Next week on The Workshop. It went straight in, it's just getting it yeah. all of the angles of the dangles right and then it will slide in, you know?